Hi guys, welcome to yet another lecture on your JSON class. Now in this lecture, what we are going to see is arrays and details. Yes, we have already seen array in our previous example. If you recollect when we created our JSON object where we had a family which had the array of Abhay, spouse and child. So you can easily see that arrays can be possible in your JSON object. Now we will see arrays and details in this particular lecture. So let's get started with it. So arrays in JSON are almost the same as arrays in JavaScript. In JSON, array values must be of type string, number, object, array, boolean or null. In JavaScript, array values can be of any of these types which is string, number, object, array, boolean or null plus any other valid JavaScript expression including functions, dates and undefined. Now in this example that you see on the screen, the family, right? So this is nothing but a key, which is family key, and it has a value of array assigned to it. And the way you can access the value for any particular array is you can just do a console.log, let's say, and then we do my object dot in this scenario, it will be family and then the position of the array element. So if you do that, I think when we go back to the console, close the output, run, you should get the value of that particular array element. Now what if you want to loop through the array element? Well again it is very easy to loop through the array element because the moment you do a myObject.Family you will get your array values or the array, actual array and then iterating over an array is very similar to what you have in JavaScript. So let's say for example you can use the foreign loop and you can say i in my object dot family and again you can just go and do a console log of all the values let me comment this out and let's clear the console, run it again and you can see all the three values get displayed onto the screen. So you can use that. You can also use a for loop which is just the same for loop that we always have. So let me just comment this console log and let me show it to you with the actual for loop that we have. So you can just do like i is equal to zero, i is less than the value which is there which is my object dot family dot length so it should be less than the length and i plus plus so this is your traditional for loop that you will have and you can again do the console log inside this i'm going to copy this console log so that we don't have to write it again and once you clear the console the answer should still remain the same all three the same now you can also have nested arrays in json objects now values in an array can be also another array or even another json object altogether so let me show it to you as an example so let me clear this family up i think we, we don't need that let's clear the cards i think this is the best example we can do so let's clear the cards and make it an array so i'll just remove this put it in array comma so this is just an empty array at this point let's add the first element which can be a json object itself so let's say we add this and say name and you can give the name as ford comma you can give models so you can have multiple cards of ford and this can be an array so let's say you can have fiesta i think ford focus was another one so you can use ford focus and if your favorite is mustang just like mine you can also pick that up so that's your array inside your object now once you have this object you can have another object which looks similar to this which is having a name and model. So let's say you will have a name and then of course a value and this in the scenario we can just go for a BMW and then the models. So there are multiple models for BMW uh, like 320, like 528 and uh, 535 I think. So yeah, one of, th one of these. So let's say we can just give an array actually and here we can give the values. So let's say 320 comma 528 I think this should be good enough for the number of cars we have let's go to another one let's say I have another fleet in my you know cars and I call it let's say Fiat so that should be the value 
and of course you can give the models for the fiat the models can be let's say 500 or you can have the panda so now what we have is we have cars which is an array and each of it uh, each of the elements of car or probably each of the array element of cars has an object which itself is a JSON object so the way you can access it is you can go to my object iterate over cars and you can get this object once you get this object you can get the name and the models and if you want to iterate over the models you can write another for loop for it so let us see that in an example so let me just actually comment this out so that we do not have to worry about it and let it go a little down so that let's go down here and let's try to access the cars object so let's write our for loop out here so for i in let's say my object dot cars so i got my for loop started now what will happen is i can just do a console dot log so now i should get cars and then i can get each and every object so what i can do is i can do my object dot cars and once I have the object element, element, I can do i, which is the ith element in that car. And then I can access the name of that object. Let's try to do this and let's see what we get on the console. We should get Ford, BMW and Fiat. And that's right. So we got the names correctly. Now to access the models, again, which is an array, we will have to make sure that we reiterate over this models array. And the way you can get the models array is very easy. What you can do is, let's say first, let's output the models array onto the screen so we can see the array itself. So let's say cars i dot models. So every time you do this, it will actually print out all the models for that particular brand. Let's say Ford has these array items, BMW and Fiat. Now you already have the models array. All you have to do is print it out one by one or you can access them one by one. So whatever you want to do. I'm going to comment this out because this is like an easy hack to actually print the array out. But let's access the individual element. Let's access the second element of all these models. So the way you can do it is very easy. Let's say actually let's display all using a for loop. So it's easier that way. So for j in my object well i already got the i element so i can do a cars of ith element dot models so now i have the array that i'm going to loop through and i have the jth element to actually give me the position of the array item so i can actually copy this completely and then get the element so let's do a console dot log the complete uh, you know the in condition I'm copying and then I'm going to put a jth element here so again this is going to give a similar result to what we have here but rather than having all as an array displayed it will display each and every element in a new line let's run this and see I think it's not yet cleared okay so Ford has Fiesta Focus Mustang BMW got two models 320 528 Fiat got 500 and Panda so that's how you can actually have your array inside your JSON object as well as have multiple objects inside an array. So it's very, you know, you can go to N level if you want to and you can actually represent your entire database if you want to as a JSON object. Well, again, you might have to come up with good standards to be able to do that. Now, that being said, let's say if you want to update a particular item in an array, let's say for family, I want to update instead of spouse, let's say I want to updated to a partner so in that scenario the updation is very easy as well so what you will do is you will do a my object dot family because now i have the array and then i have the first element because the zeroth is up high the first is spouse and then i can just do an update to it so this is equal to let's call it as partner and now if i do a console log of family you can see that the updated value will be represented in the array so let's clear this run it and you can see the array got updated instead of spouse now i have a partner similarly if you want to delete something from the array it is also very equally easy all you have to do is do a delete you can do a my object dot family and of course i shouldn't delete anything from family that's not a good practice but let's remove the child from this and let's see the family array again after the deletion happens 
let's clear it run it and you should see this becomes an undefined so now the alley element is gone the child is no longer there in the family so that was all about arrays in json object now if you have any questions around arrays feel free to let me know in the q a section or in the comments below and i will be very happy to work with you in any case i will see you in the next class